What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Good Life. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going on a boba crawl. There's plenty of good boba spots here in our local Riverside area. And we're going to try out a few of those and see how they fare one against the other. We're actually looking just for the consistency, flavor of the boba itself. There's a myriad of different drinks you can get that in. We're going to go standard as possible just to see how it fares one against the other. So, you might be asking yourself, Eddie, what's boba? Really simply, it is starch usually from sweet potatoes, a little bit of brown sugar. Think of like almost uh, like a dumpling. It's chewy, might feel a little bit weird at first when it's in your drink, but trust me, it's delicious and wonderful. Embrace it, love it. We're gonna start off our boba crawl here at Ding Tea. These guys have phenomenal drinks. I'm gonna go inside, check it out. So check it out, we're trying out two drinks. We're gonna be gauging and testing the boba at each one of these places. So we got a signature milk tea in this one with their boba. And on this side, we got their yogurt yakult, which is like a little uh, Asian to-go drink that has like orange juice mixed in with yogurt. It's similar to that, this is a strawberry flavor of that. I'm gonna start with a classic first, give this a try. Remember, don't drink too fast, okay? Mix it up real good, don't drink too fast. Really well balanced, not too sweet. The thing that you want to look for is, is the boba like too chewy or does it go stale? Not at all, it's really, really good. Now as for this, ooh, it's thick. Caught me off guard. Ooh, snap! That tastes like a cult. That's so good. It actually tastes just like it. That's a winner, I like that. I'm gonna drink it a drink. I know what you're thinking. Guys, you're a food blog, that's all you do. No, we don't. We also drink drinks. For instance, here at Charity and University, Riverside Village, UCR Village, UV, University Village, Riverside, that thing. I got the classic milk tea with pearls. I'm gonna try this one out. This is just from baseline where we're sort of gauging everything by. Look at this cute little drink. This is a strawberry mojito. It's got a little bit of mint up on top there and some mojito in there. So we'll try this out and give that a shot, see what it is. Oh, it's sweet. Mm. Boba is really good. Just a heads up, if you're new to the boba scene, it might feel a little shocking. You're like, I don't like it. Just relax, take a deep breath before you take a drink. Just know, it's it's cool, it's, it's fine. Just go along for the ride, no big deal. A little chewy, easy peasy. Now, my mojito. Ooh, that's really good, really well balanced. Could be a little less sweet, but not too bad. It's got really, really good flavors. Depth in that, fantastic. I like this a lot. This is good stuff. All right, so we're wrapping up at one of our favorite spots. This is the Boba Tea House, just off of Blaine, uh, right here in the shopping center located right at the top of Blaine. Now we go here because this is one of the most consistent spots. They've been around for a long time, actually doing some renovations. I think they got Taiyaki coming down the line. Super pumped about that. This is the Honeydew Milk Tea with mini bobas. Super, super good. Now just as a, a, a brief recap, we went to Share Tea, we went to Ding Tea, we went to the Boba Tea House. Our recommendation out of those three, is Ding Tea. The place has such 
good flavors. So good. Consistency of the boba is good. Flavors of all of their drinks, fantastic. Definitely check it out. And while you're there, make sure you bring your friends along just as you're doing with this journey. We love that you guys are tuning in. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, tell everyone you can about Good Life because we're having a blast doing this with you. Thanks. We'll catch you again real soon. Bye.